what, what I think is interesting to me about this stage in the conversation is your good nature and your yeah. your sort of talking about stuff that could have some people's screeching from from the rooftops, but you approach it in a very sort of human way. You, yeah. you, you, you talk, you're motivated by issues rather than hatred of individuals, or, or you talk about the ruling class and you do it with a sort of, sort of sardonic grin. Well, you know, I just think this is a fact. See, people get very frightened of this term class, yes. and there's a ruling class, and there's a working class. Or an, own, an owning class, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, it's whatever you want to call yeah. it. But there are people that own the means of production yeah. in any society. I mean, Jeff Bezos yeah. isn't some benign character. Elon Musk and all the ones over here that manage to keep themselves more anonymous than these people. That's the style of the British ruling class. Yeah. They don't always want to be known. But the, the Duke of Westminster, which owns all of the property that we're sitting in here right now, mm. one of the richest men on the planet, doesn't want to go around being famous. But they do own everything, and we have to go to work, including in this environment, yes. your work, yes. and we don't own this means of production. We serve it, and we get a wage or an income from it. But they own it and can control it and can deploy it in any which way they want. I'm not frightened of that, because that's, that's just been explained to me, and I've learned it. You know, I read The Ragged Trousers of Philanthropists mm. when I was very young, and that seems like perfect common sense. The, th the thing is, what do you do about that? Do you go round setting fire to people's houses? I'm not one of those people. I'm not a Leninist or a Trotskyist or a Stalinist or whatever. I'm not an anarchist. I actually believe in Labour, part, Labour movement values, yeah. that we organise people and educate and then move them on through continued reform. I get accused of being a reformist. And I think, yeah, well, that's <laughs> what I am. You can't blame me for what I am. I don't particularly want a res revolution that destroys the important structures of our communities because I actually think we need a police force. Right. I think the country needs to be defended from aggression. I don't want to be aggressive against anyone else. I believe we do need the state. I don't want to tear it down. I want to change it. So, you know, and some of those people have got to give up the idea that they can control everything. And I think one of the ways you do that is through regulation, proper progressive regulation and progressive taxation. I think it's the greatest equaliser you can have, progressive tax taxation, and in moving that money, the wealth of other people, to benefit the, the people that haven't got as much wealth. And you do that gradually. And I think what they've done in Northern Europe, in general, yeah. is a better model than what we've done. And they've been doing it for nearly a century in Sweden and other places. There's been interruptions. Sure. And I'm sure there's lots of complaints in those countries. But when they get a Tory government, they don't tear it all down. Merkel did not tear down the institutions of the West German and now mm. federal German state. It was very carefully built up. And in fact, it was built up by the Americans through the Marshall Plan. They put in all these things where uh, industrial relations is a shared thing. You can't de-recognise a trade union in Germany or France. And you like have they can here. 